What's going on, guys? Welcome to this training. In this training, I'm going to show you guys how you can start and scale a coaching business to $10,000 per month, even if you're starting from scratch. Now, just as a quick introduction, my name is Zach Colburn. I'm the founder and CEO of the Personal Trainers Business Incubator. And over the last four years, we've worked with over a thousand fitness coaches to help them start their coaching business from scratch, even with zero business experience. So in this training, we're going to walk you through our step-by-step -step process on how coaches can build a successful coaching business. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right. So I hope you have a pen and paper ready because we are going to literally give you the step-by-step -step process on everything you need to build a successful coaching business in 2024. But as a quick introduction, I just want to share a little story as to who I am and how I got to where I am today. Back in 2014, I graduated high school and I decided that college was not the route that I wanted to go. I wanted to see success in fitness. I love fitness. I wanted to help people through fitness. And so right out of high school, I decided that I was going to pursue a career in fitness. I worked for myself as an in-person trainer for two years. I got certified right out of high school. I decided that I was going to go the personal training route because back then online coaching was not a thing. It essentially, it was a needle on a haystack. I had never heard about online coaching and really the only route for success in the fitness industry was, you know, build up a following and get sponsorships, get articles in fitness magazines or become a personal trainer, open up a gym, etc. And so that's what I did. I initially planned to work as an in-person trainer, but when I got the offer at my first job, it just did not make sense for me financially. What they promised was that I would be getting minimum wage only for the sessions that I trained in person at the gym. I would need to prospect my own clients, sell my own packages. But during the times that I was prospecting, I would not be getting paid for my time. And for the packages that I sold, I would only be getting about 20% of the package. And so I figured if I'm going to be prospecting my own clients, selling my own packages, I might as well be getting paid 100% of the packages that I sell working for myself. So I started a little studio in my mom's garage. I converted her garage into, you know, a training studio. And you can see this picture of me in 2014 buying gym equipment. I bought this piece of equipment for $600. I was extremely proud. But after two years of training in person in that studio, I pretty much hit a brick wall. I didn't know how I was going to expand beyond the small town that I had grown up in. I didn't know how to, you know, grow my business even further because back then mentorships and online program were not a thing. I was reading as many books on business as possible, but just could not figure out how to translate all of that information to my in-person business. And so in 2016, I learned about the opportunity of online coaching. And I figured I could reach people online. I can program them online. I can move out of my hometown and I can grow my business far beyond what I was able to do in person. And so in 2016, I decided that I was going to pursue online coaching. I invested everything I had into courses, coaches, mentorships, and I finally scaled my coaching business to six figures online and achieved all the dreams that I had set out for myself. Now, since then, I've been able to pass that information down to new coaches who are getting started today because I knew how valuable that information was to me when I was first starting out. And I want to be able to help online coaches start with the right roadmap from day one. So since then, I've been able to help over a thousand fitness coaches start online coaching through PTB. I run PTBI full time. It is my passion. It is what I'll do until the day I die. And I'm currently living in Las Vegas with my fiance, Megan, and our German shepherd, Sozen. So one thing that I want to share with you is that the certification is an illusion, right? I also want to share with you what they won't teach you in school and what the personal trainer scam is, because this is something that I fell for when I initially joined the fitness industry. So when you start off in the fitness industry, this is typically the two paths that are laid out to you without proper guidance and without proper mentorship. So the path essentially is to go out and get a certification or go out and get a degree. For me, I got a certification because that's all I needed to get my foot in the door. Now you have two paths from here, right? Path number one is a little bit more traditional. You get your certification, your degree, you go and get a job at a gym. This could be any local gym. Oftentimes commercial gyms are where people, you know, head into. You go ahead and learn the gym model, right? So you learn how to prospect clients on the floor. You learn how to sell the gym packages and you learn how to fulfill through in-person coaching. The problem is you become dependent on that gym model because the gym does not teach you how to properly run a business on your own. You essentially become an employee of the gym and a tool for the gym to make a profit off of your hard-earned work. Eventually, you will burn out. 
I don't see many trainers lasting 5, 10, 15 years working at commercial gyms because they're just not making enough money. It's really hard work. It's really long hours. And that fire eventually burns out and dies when you get locked into that model. But the problem is because you don't learn any business skill sets following that model, there's nothing you can translate your experience to when it comes to starting your own business. So eventually you reach a point and realize that maybe fitness coaching just isn't for me. And you transition into a different career, leaving that dream to die. Now, path number two is where I see a lot of people going straight into online coaching without the proper guidance and mentorship that I'm going to show you and lay out in this training is that you get your certification degree and decide, hey, I'm going to start online coaching. I'm going to start my own business. I'm going to let people know I am taking on clients on Instagram. I'm going to make a post. But the problem is you don't have a strategy. You don't know how to generate leads. You don't know how to make sales. You don't know how to properly fulfill your clients online. And so you create untargeted content, just blasting out whatever comes to mind. And because it's untargeted, because you don't have a strategy, you get no leads, you get no buzz. And eventually that dream dies and you leave it behind and realize that maybe fitness coaching isn't for me. Trust me, guys, I've seen this happen time and time and time again. And this is actually what happened to me. I actually followed both paths, right? I initially tried to get a job at a gym. I realized that that business model wasn't going to teach me any hard set skills that I can then translate into my own business. And I have seen so many trainers come from in-person training that have no clue how to build a business because nowhere in the process of getting a certification or getting a degree do they teach you how to build a profitable business. Now, the second path I followed was you know, path number two, I would make content on Instagram, I would wait for clients to come to me, I would have no buzz, and I almost gave up on my dream. The thing is, is if you fall into either one of these paths, it's not your fault. You see, there's another side of the coin that the fitness industry does not want to tell you about. Now, the fitness industry says, go out and get a certification, go out, get a degree. And I absolutely think that's essential. You should be a qualified fitness coach if you're going to be taking on clients. You should get a certification, you should get a degree, you should be as qualified to coach clients as you can possibly be in order for you to see success. However, what they don't tell you is that the most successful personal trainers and the most successful online coaches not only have a skill set in fitness and nutrition, but they also have a skill set in business. And you won't get the business skill set that you need in order to succeed through the fitness industry's certifications or degrees. And that's the trap that I fell into. I went out and got a certification. I learned how to coach people. I had the skills, knowledge, and confidence that I can coach people, but I had no idea how to run a business. So when I got stuck, I thought I'll just go get another certification and I would get a certification in nutrition. I thought now I'm even a better coach. I'm ready for more clients, but I still did not learn how to build a proper business. It wasn't until I started investing into business mentorship that I learned how to actually use the skill sets of business to then grow my fitness coaching business. Now, these are the five pillars of an online coaching business. This is what I've learned over the last 10 years in the fitness industry and over the last four years, helping coaches start their coaching business. They need all five of these pillars. Now, the first pillar is leadership. We're going to talk about about every single one of these pillars in detail. But the first pillar is leadership. Now, the second pillar is marketing. Third pillar is lead generation. Fourth pillar is sales. And the last pillar is delivery. Guys, you can have any one of these pillars, but if you do not have every single one of these pillars, you will not succeed as an online coach in 2024. Now, let's go ahead and break down what these pillars are and why you need them in order for you to start successful online coaching business. So the first pillar is leadership. This is is understanding how to properly inspire other people to follow you under your leadership for success. And it also requires you to get through any sort of limiting beliefs, any sort of blocks, any sort of self-doubt that you have about being successful and creating a new fitness coaching identity. So the leadership is all about having a strong, confident mindset to show up online, to make offers online, to be vulnerable online, and to inspire people to see you as a leader. You see, if you are someone who has been a watcher all of your life, you've never been in the spotlight, you've never gotten attention, you've never been one to speak up in loud groups, you've never been one to put yourself out there, it will be tough to start a business because in order for you to sign clients, you need to have strong leadership skills when it comes to putting yourself out there in the world. You want to start an online coaching business, you need to be confident in what you have to offer, you need to be confident in who you are, you need to be confident in your ability to help people, and that's going to translate 
into posting content online so that way people can see who you are, what you have to offer, and be inspired to want to work with you. So if you're not the type of person to post about your life or post about your vulnerability or share stories or put yourself out there, you are going to have a hard time building an online coaching business because you're just not going to get the attention that you need, right? But let's say if you don't want to go online, you want to build an online coaching business without having to put yourself out there online. Well, you still need to be able to have the confidence to speak to strangers, to tell people about who you are and what you do and offer your services to them. So the first step in any successful business is having the proper mindset and having the proper skills and having the proper leadership abilities to be able to put yourself out there to attract your clients to you. That means getting over limiting beliefs, getting over self-doubt and getting over any roadblocks that are holding you back from seeing success. The second step is marketing. You need to understand what you do. You need to understand who your ideal client is. You need to understand what your process is and you need to understand how to translate that into communicating to your ideal client online. So typically what we do here is we help our clients really nail down what their transformation is. So are they helping people lose weight? Are they helping people build muscle? Are they helping people get stronger? Are they helping people run faster? What is the actual result of success and what does that look like to the ideal client joining your program? You have to have a very clear vision of what success looks like at the end of your transformation. That's step number one. Step number two is you have to understand who your product is for. So what type of person are you going to be helping? Are you going to be helping athletes? Are you going to be helping college kids? Are you going to be helping moms? Are you going to be helping busy entrepreneurs? Are you going to be helping people who are coming from a nine to five background? You have to understand who that target client is so you can create content for your offer to speak to those individuals to help them understand that what you have to offer is the perfect solution for what they're looking for. Now, the next step after that is you have to understand what your process of transformation is. You see, it's not just a 12 week custom workout plan. It's not just 12 week custom nutrition. There is a method in which you need to understand how to get your client results. And that method is going to be what separates you from other coaches online. So an example of a method is if it fits your macros. If it fits your macros is a method of transformation for people to follow in order for them to see fitness results when it comes to nutrition. Another method is intermittent fasting. If it fits your macros and intermittent fasting are two completely different methods for nutrition coaching. So you need to understand what your methods of transformation are so you can communicate why your methods are superior than other methods and how that method is going to get people results. For training, a really great example would be progressive overload. Progressive overload is a a method of training that people utilize to build strength in the gym. Another method outside of that is strength training, powerlifting, right? This is another method of training to help people see results in the gym. And so a coach who uses intermittent fasting and powerlifting versus a coach who uses if it fits your macros and progressive overload, they're going to have completely different methods, right? And so when your prospect is figuring out what program is right for them, they need to understand how your methods are going to get them to their results faster and better. So that's what marketing comes comes down to is understanding what success looks like through your program, who the program is for, and what your method of transformation is, and packaging that into a 12-week, six-month, 12-month transformation package where you can deliver those results to your clients. And having that package really buttoned down tight so you know exactly what you're offering to the marketplace. The third pillar is lead generation. So this comes down to how you're actually going to acquire clients for your business. Now, you need to understand that there's many different ways to generate leads. You can become a walking lead magnet where you go to the grocery store and literally talk to the clerk and that person becomes a lead or you jump in an Uber. And by the end of that Uber ride, that person generate becomes a lead, right? I used to get so many leads in person just by starting conversations with people, right? That's one form of lead generation. But if you're starting online, you have to understand that there's multiple different platforms or there's multiple different strategies to generate leads. A really tried and true strategy is using outbound prospecting on Instagram, creating content to generate inbound leads, using paid traffic to generate leads as well. There's many different ways to skin the cat. And when you're starting out, you need to understand that you have to build a consistent lead generation system in order for you to consistently generate leads. Now for P2BI, we have a pretty proven process. We use Instagram and content to generate inbound leads. We use outbound prospecting to find leads. And we also use paid traffic to have leads come to us. With those three processes working in place, we're able to generate consistent leads 
every single day. But what I want you to understand is that lead generation needs to be a part of your business. You need to have a consistent lead generation system in order for you to consistently generate clients for your business. Now, the fourth pillar is sales. This one is probably the most important part because if you have every single pillar down, but you do not have the skills to make sales, you are not going to be able to generate revenue for your business. So in coaching, right, this is what I wish I knew when I was first getting started. In order for you to make money in your business, you have to make sales. And for a lot of fitness coaches, this could be really scary because they join fitness coaching because they want to help people, not because they want to be a salesman. But I have to tell you that the most successful fitness coaches in the world are the best salespeople for their business. If you want to see success, you have to learn how to master sales. This is going to come down to a process. You have to understand how to discover your client's vision, what it is that they want to achieve. You have to understand how to properly position your offer to make sure that they understand that what you have to offer with your transformation program fits exactly what it is that they're looking for. And it is the best solution for their results. And then you also have to understand how to handle their objection. If someone says that they need to think about it. If someone says that they need to check over their finances. If someone says that they need to talk to their spouse, these are very, very, very common objections and you cannot get around it. You cannot hope that you're going to have people that lay down and join your program just because you think you deserve it. You have to master sales. If you become a master salesman, you will become a master businessman. The last thing is delivery. So you need to understand how to fulfill your clients on the back end and how to have them have such a great experience that they tell all of their friends and become the, your lead generation source for your business. And so we have a few different systems. Number one is we use My Coach AI, And number two is we have a check-in process. So the training platform, My Coach AI allows people to deliver their workout plans, deliver their nutrition plans, and track all of their clients' data so they can ensure where their client is in their journey at all times. The check-in process allows the coach to have that one-to-one -one relationship with their clients and go over their progress on a weekly basis with their clients and keep them accountable. With these two points, coaches are able to deliver their programs. Clients are able to receive their programs. Coaches are able to track their client's progress. Clients are able to track their own progress. And coaches are able to make adjustments to their plan to ensure that the clients are progressing week to week. Without a strong delivery process, your clients will feel cluttered, they'll feel misorganized, and they will regret joining your program because they don't have a good experience. So having a really good delivery process is going to ensure that your clients see successful results, your clients stay a client long term, and your clients bring in new referrals to your business. So this is the five pillars of business, guys. Like I mentioned, you need to have every single one. If you do not have strong leadership skills and the confidence to put yourself out there, then none of this is going to work. If you have strong leadership skills, but you have a terrible offer and you don't know how to package your program, then none of this is going to work. If you have strong leadership skills, you have a really strong offer, but you don't know how to generate leads, none of this is going to work. If you have strong leadership skills, a great offer, you generate consistent leads, but you don't know how to close clients, none of this is going to work. If you have strong leadership skills, a great offer, generate consistent leads, are able to close clients consistently, but you can't fulfill them on the back end, none of this is going to work. So you need to have all five in your business. And this is what we teach our clients. We help them build inside the personal trainer's business incubator. So where do you get started from here? So at this point, you have two choices. If you want to follow our five-step process, you can go out there and learn everything that you can about leadership, marketing, lead gen, sales, and delivery. But the problem is a lot of the information you're going to find is not going to be tailored to online fitness coaching. This is why it took me so long to see success doing this on my own, because I would read all these classic books that everyone recommended, and I would understand, okay, cool, like, like, sure, I'm, I'm learning sales about, you know, car sales in the 1980s, but how does this apply to fitness coaching? The thing is, it wasn't relevant to what I was looking to do. And so it could take you a long time to sift through the information that you need. And even from that, it doesn't guarantee that you get the applicable information that you need for your online coaching business, which is why I started the personal trainers business incubator to give that information through my own personal learnings, my own personal mentorships, and my real life experience working as an online coach and working with thousands of fitness coaches to make a applicable 
program specifically for online coaches to see success. So if you are interested in learning more, I would invite you to look into the personal trainers business incubator. All you have to do to find out more information is to follow me on Instagram. That's going to be at Z-A-K-K-C-O-L-B-U-R-N. And if you send me the message PTBI, I will send you a free training that's going to walk you through our process in more detail. So walk you through the five pillar process in more detail, show you our client results, show you our testimonials and invite you to learn more about the personal trainers business incubator. So guys, I wish you the best on this journey. Everything I laid out to you is everything that you need to see successful. You need to have a strong mindset. You need to have a great offer. You need to be able to generate leads. You need to be able to close those clients and you need to be able to fill them at a high level to ensure that your clients see success. So without further ado, guys, I hope you enjoyed the training. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.